Hey, I'm sure you've been wondering, just like I have, which one of these you should get or keep. Um, well, I'm going to tell you right now, they all sound good. They all sound good. Uh, but this is going to be the Battle Royale. I've got uh, a BE-100, a whole crap ton of reactive reactants, IR, loading, tempering, profiling uh, stuff going on here. I didn't want it just to be like, here's through that, here's through that, here's through that, here's through that. I really don't think that's fair. Because what you're going to do is when you get one is, or just use your live cab, is you record it and you go, cool. Now I want that to sound as good as I can make it. So that's what I did. I wanted to see how these things hold up in a mix. If you're going to add a little EQ to it, um, and you know, with the IRs, you could use, there's an infinite amount of IRs going on. So, um, uh, so I took each one with the same amp setting. First thing I did was BE 100 into Bogner 412 with an SM57, uh, and tried to get that sounding really good. And then I didn't touch the head after that. That's, that was the sound. Not really going to give my specific opinions on any uh, device today. I'll um, just put this out here for you. And, uh, you know, we can discuss it another time. All right. Here we go.
I was on YouTube the other day and I noticed that the video of girl eating banana has like 12 million hits. So I thought I'd spice up my videos. Is it doing anything for you? Hello? Hey, buddy. Hey, how you feeling?